Hey guys, it's Cora Ross and welcome to Bustin' Rainbow Six Siege. Let's get started. So the first myth is air jab versus interrogation. Now this has been tested after the delay was added on the test server for the air jab and it works. It actually forces Cav out of the animation and then it launches her. So you get this kind of odd delay between the air jab going off, the animation stopping and then Cav flying through the air. So it is doable with the new mechanic of the delay that the air jab has and you could save one of your teammates from an interrogation so that's pretty cool and that is confirmed. This is another highly requested myth and is the air jab versus repel. So I'm going to be nomad and just going to slap an air jab right next to me, right next to the repel. Defender is going to run in and detonate it and nothing happens so that's busted. Um, I'm not surprised but that a lot of the air jab stuff worked when you're on the ground and not in the air or anything like that. Now this is another requested myth, this time it's the turret with an operator and then another operator getting blasted through the turret and what will happen. And the turret gets completely wiped out by the player and the player is actually behind us now. So the turret got absolutely destroyed and of course we're no longer on the turret. So that's confirmed, you, you know an extra player going through it is going to wreck it. Now the hostage versus the air jab. This was another one that people asked to be tested and I was curious myself what would happen here because obviously if this was to be real life and this thing existed, this air jab gadget, the hostage should go flying obviously because they're going to weigh about the same as an operator. And here's a perfect example of the hostage being fine. So as you can see the player got launched off and all the way down. We'll do it one more time just to be sure, and yeah, the hostage is unaffected, whether being carried or not carried by an operator, so that is busted. Now, mute stops the air jab. This was another requested myth, and I thought this would be quite interesting if this actually worked. Of course, it's probably not going to work, but it would be a nice little thing for mute, because right now he's not got that much going for him with the new guy joining the team, and even though he's got the SMG 11 now, it would be handy if he could do something like jam these air jabs. So, one of them has been put down. Let's see what happens. Yep, went off fine, no problem. So that is busted. Mute jammers do not stop the air jab. Air jab armor differences. So this is to see if there's a difference between the lighter and heavier operators being thrown back by the air jab. So as you can see, I've got Chachanka down here and what I've set up is the air jab on the actual door and we've done both Alibi and Chachanka. So that's a three armor and a one armor. You can see they fall back exactly the same place, even with exactly the same animation as well. So there's no difference. They don't get thrown back further for being lighter armor. So that is busted. Air jab window run out. This was a great suggestion and proved to be extremely interesting because there's going to be an air jab on the left hand side of this window and of course the defender is going to be in the proximity radius but it doesn't detonate. This is because an operator needs to be on the ground for these things to actually go off. So putting it up there is actually a really bad idea. It's the worst thing you can do with an air jab. And just to show it from the other perspective as well, we're going to do it this way and you can see that it's had enough time to activate and then out comes the defender and nothing. So don't put them up high, put them down kind of ground level, you know, at least a meter above the surface maybe. But that is busted. Now something I really wanted to test was holograms and air jabs because holograms are pretty cool but they don't have that much utility and they don't even work against like glasses, sniper rifle and stuff like that. So what about air jabs? Because I wonder how are these air jabs actually detecting people? Because I'm guessing it's not just motion they're detecting, there must be some sort of smarts in them. And as you can see, it, it seems to know the difference between a player and a hologram. And actually that'd be kind of cool if the holograms worked. Give them a little bit more utility, but that's busted. Air jab can kill. So this is a test I did before they added in the delay for the air jab and I wanted to see if this could actually kill someone and obviously you see the air jab icon in the kill feed and yeah we do, we get to see it. And even the kill cam actually is quite funny, you kind of see this thing hit the person, fall off and not even detonate which is great. And of course that's before the whole uh, delay was added. This is now what it looks like when the delay is added. 
So of course it only does five damage. So if you do end up getting a kill with this thing, then well done. But as you can see, it just bounces off now and does that five damage. So confirmed at least you can kill someone with it if you're really lucky. Air jab knockback versus Mira windows. So I didn't test this one before, but I thought, eh, this, yeah, it's gonna be pretty simple. You're gonna get blasted through the destructible wall. It's gonna be really easy, but people were asking for it. So I thought, all right, let's give it a go. And I was like, whoa, um, that worked. The, mir the mirror window stopped her going through. That's actually quite surprising. I didn't expect that. I thought she would fly through that, that wall, completely take it out and take out the mirror window but the mirror window appears to actually make the wall stronger and you don't go through it and that was kind of interesting but as we'll see in a minute it wasn't as clean cut as that so this is what an air jump actually looks like on a mirror window which i thought looked amazing it looks like some freaking alien thing and considering her, her gadget actually does come out of outbreak like it comes out of the mechanics of that this is kind of fitting but I thought, oh, we'll do one more test just to make sure that this isn't... Uh, oh, oh, okay. Just went straight through the mirror window. Don't know what's up with that. So, of course, it's a test server. It may be buggy. But it, uh, it did seem to make the wall stronger. But, of course, that one didn't. Maybe it was the height. Maybe it was something else. Another variable. But that's plausible, I guess. Slug shotgun hatch nerf. So this is a pretty big change for the slug shotguns. They were used to be really good at actually going through things like the hatches and relatively quick whereas now you need a lot more rounds to take these hatches out like there's not much of this hatch surviving now for Kate it's okay he's got a magazine full of slugs whereas for Vigil and Docky Bay they gotta reload every goddamn two shots so it takes it a lot longer to get through these hatches which is a pain in the butt at least it still does it I guess but definitely a bit of a nerf now the great thing is they have up the actual damage that like you make these big massive holes now. You can also see they've upgraded the graphics as well, this beautiful kind of cracked paint from the, the holes. Looks brilliant. And of course you can also use these to shoot down at uh, like defenders and objectives now and make really nice kill holes. And uh, they're, they're really efficient for it I would say. Of course Cade can also do that against attackers. But anyway that's confirmed. Slug shotgun versus plane windows. This was another very heavily requested test and we already know that they're not going to go through. So they did go through in the Operation Point Noise test server originally. And as far as we know it was because they were using Glass's sniper rifle to actually make these guns and they just hadn't got around to tweaking it just yet. So that's why they went through. And as you can see they seem to have the same mechanics as each other uh, for these slug shotguns. But obviously they do not go through the plane windows and that sucks, but obviously it's very balanced if they don't, but that is busted. How to clear an air jab from a deployable shield. So this actually is a myth that came up, which I found to be really useful. And it was based on me testing something completely different, but I just came across this. So say you're holding down the objective and an air jab gets, a, gets attached to the deployable cover in front of you, but you want to like leave later and flank. You can actually pull it down. The air jab will go off, but the deployable cover actually goes back up, which is really handy. So if, like, if it was in a doorway, for instance, you could pull it down, the air jab goes off, but you're actually still in really good cover. And if you're planning to flank, maybe there's no longer any attackers there, you can totally flank around. So that is confirmed and I think that is actually useful. Air jab soft drop. Now this, all came about because I wanted to see if we could actually use the shock wave from the air jab to stop someone dying when they fell a really long way. I wanted them to get like pushed back up and then come back down, which I thought would look amazing, but it didn't work, unfortunately. Uh, but major props here to Robin Grief Drums for getting these timings so well, because of course the person dropping isn't going to set off the air jabs. We actually needed a, another defender to run in at the right time to actually set it off. And as you can see here, we even tried to hatch because I thought it'd be amazing if we can get launched back up. Because I actually did see that on Reddit once that someone got launched back up a hatch by an air jab, but I couldn't recreate it. But anyway, that is busted. Now the last myth is the new throwing mechanics. And it was Prodigio Pete who actually noticed this, or at least had the idea that this could be a major buff for some of the operators. And it really is, especially for Valkyrie. So I recommend checking out Prodigio Pete's massive secret buffs video. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.